Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today we're going to talk to you about the S in the CIPOC series, which is supplier. You can also associate the S with demand, i.e. where does the work come from? What entity or stakeholder? Um, a supplier in the CIPOC is someone that hands an artifact into the output, which of course goes from left to right in order to add value in that particular function. The power of um, the S component is identifying who are the stakeholders that actually request work upon you. What this first does quantitatively is, is work out, well, where is the alignment in the organization amongst functions? For instance, sales um, do go directly to engineering. Supply chain go directly to engineering. Quality will go directly to engineering, etc., etc. But what is also interesting is to understand that there are certain functions or stakeholder groups within an organization will go to a different function and it's not visible to the rest of the organization why that is, what that is, or how that is. By concentrating on the S, and you'll notice that we did the I, which is the inputs before the S, and that was when you go then through the S component, you are actually testing to make sure that for every input provided to the CIPOC model, there is a stakeholder group that was the one that triggered it in the first place. It's quite often then you'll find that when you go through and do the S piece, that engineering or any particular function sometimes generate and work themselves out of their own process. So it becomes a little bit recursive or as some people might call hand to mouth. Sometimes this is due to circumstances that engineering are just trying to do the right thing or a particular function is trying to do the right thing. But at the end of the day, from a leadership or top management perspective, they're losing the ability to see inside their own organization because the internal, I suppose, leadership at the sub-function level is blindsiding the overall picture of what's going on. Here we go. Who is placing demand on the function? Pretty straightforward. Anyone can understand this. Again, where we are here is we're back down here at the start, which is really the supplier who is the one triggering the demand onto the process itself. Again, standard template, very easy to make up. And again, it's as easy as doing it on a piece of paper, brown paper, whiteboard, doesn't matter. Just important to get people thinking. So again, the engineering division that this particular example was done on, they said that, well, for us, we actually get requests from projects, from vendors, from manufacturing, from the improvement department. Standard employees will ask us questions. The sales team, uh, purchasing, R&D, and of course, compliance. Now, what was really interesting here is that this particular um, division in this company of the engineering, they had what was called an RFE process, which was request for engineering. The problem is that when they set it up a few years ago, instead of having all requests go through it, they only chose the engineering specific ones. And what that meant was they really limited it to things like these three, sales, purchasing, R&D, and compliance. They didn't associate, for instance, employee requests and improvement requests as being engineering. And what happened was, over a period of time, they ended up doing such a wide variety of work, but they only captured the engineering-specific work, which, to the eyes of their internal stakeholders, meant that they were, weren't delivering enough engineering, or their capacity, they couldn't understand why capacity was threatened, but from a finance perspective, they weren't recovering against their workload. So very interesting to know when you do do this is to think about the people in the room to make sure that they're considering all the actual suppliers to their process area. So thanks for taking a look at supplier. Again, let's continue on through the CIPOC series, understanding how to pull this together and the value it brings you on your change journey. Thank you.